guys, it's Wednesday, October 2nd, uh, second day of bow season here in beautiful Michigan. This is my first official hunt. Uh, I didn't get a chance to go out yesterday. I, uh, I worked, of course, in the morning and then um, it, would, it rained pretty hard pretty much all day. Um, so later on in the evening, I thought about going and it, it, the rain actually cleared up, but uh, it was still pretty muggy. I think it was 75 degrees and real damp. The bugs were out. and. Uh, I ended up just taking that time to do some last minute prepping. So uh, today I'm heading out to uh, a farm that uh, my family has hunted now for probably 25 years. Um, I've hunted it for probably 10, 12 years now. And uh, my dad has actually taken a couple real nice bucks out there, uh, several deer. Um, I actually, the stand I'm gonna hunt today, I actually just hung this past weekend. Uh, Sunday, I believe, is when I did it. Uh, September 14th, that weekend that we hung uh, Nate's set, I was going to head out there and hang a stand in a spot that I had kind of scouted most of the early season and I uh, uh, had some issues with that location. So I ended up abandoning that and then I kind of just hung this stand really. I haven't really checked out this area. Last year I was hunting it pretty hard. I was after a decent buck that uh, um, I just couldn't make the connection with. And so I set right back up in that same tree and I stuck a camera on it uh, on Sunday. So, of course, I'll pull the card when I go out there today and see if anything has shown up in this past couple days. But uh, that spot really kind of picked up last season, later in the season. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm going to head out there. This, is my, this will be my first time out there kind of seeing what's going on. Take you guys along and we'll, uh, we'll see what tonight brings. I'm hoping after all that rain we had that uh, uh, things will kind of liven up a little bit. Deer will probably be on the move looking for some food. Um, that's my plan anyway. But we'll see what happens and uh, should be a good evening. This path walking in here is uh, pretty thick. Tried to uh, clear some of it over the weekend with a machete and uh, my pole saw I had, but uh, I was getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, so I didn't spend a whole lot of time. So you can see kind of what we're walking up on here. That noise in the background is uh, some tree trimmers clearing some power lines. some uh, tree trimmers clearing some power lines. Gave me some good uh, sound cover to get in. Get in the woods. I'm gonna take the field out to the stand. I think the deer hang out in the, uh, in the woods during the day. Actually, about uh, 25 feet up in the tree. Oh man, there's a branch right in front of my trail camera. That's gonna screw up a lot of my pictures. All right, I'll get that cleared out of here. Pull my card and get in the tree. Well, I got all set up in my tree. Well, starting to get set up. Technically, my first step. After I got up in the tree, I realized what I had forgotten. So I am walking back now, and I will show you guys what I forgot.
my fall harness strap. First time out. Gotta have hiccups, right? <clears throat> All right, let's head back out. I just kicked up a deer. Uh, it's a doe bed it down pretty much right on the path that I had walked in. So that kind of stinks. I don't think she heard me the first time with that uh, utility truck. So I kind of blew that, but you know, it's that or potentially my life. So I chose to go back and get my fall harness strap. Just popping out in the field now. I'm gonna shimmy up my tree. All right guys, so I'm back up in the tree. Kind of out of breath. That was a lot of walking and climbing. But uh, as long as you learn from your mistakes, right? Strapped in. Got my bow hanging, camera's ready. Um, I put a camera arm on this tree and uh, on this, this, uh, this limb here. Ended up taking it back off. I'm just, I'm not super comfortable with it. It looks like it's gonna get in the way of my shot, so. I'm kind of uh, freehand it for today until I figure out what I'm gonna do. Let me get the camera reversed and I'll show you what we're looking at here. Last year, there was a uh, real good sized scrape right down here underneath that licking branch. And uh, I kept having a deer come out of that corner over there. There's a ravine over there. And he'd scoot this way, and uh, I didn't have that cleared right there. And the one time I got him to come in, he, he was standing right there, and I couldn't couldn't even get a shot at him. I watched him all season. So, as you can see by some of the dead stuff, I cleared it there. I got a nice shooting lane there. Um, everything out in front of me, and then I can make a shot over there. Um, I'm quite a ways up in the tree, I actually got a ravine right behind me. And then uh, there's actually an old tree stand, I don't know if you can see it, it's right there. Um, so, I'm quite a ways above that old tree stand. But, uh, this property usually lightens up pretty late in the day, so I suspect that I'll probably sit here for a couple hours before I see anything. But uh, it's always good to get out as early as you can. Better than sitting at home. So, stick with me and uh, hopefully we have some action tonight.
raining pretty good. Um, starting to lose light. I'll probably uh, get things packed away that I can't get wet. And uh, sit for a little bit and then head out. Well guys, that kind of uh, concludes tonight's hunt. Um, I don't know if you could see, really see it in the video I had, but uh, I had a group of does come in right at dark and uh, they kind of worked along. Uh, they really didn't even get close to me. They were, they were probably 50 yards away and they kind of curved into the field and then headed, uh, headed out into the field. So uh, not much action. Um, like I say, it started raining. Um, probably like an hour before dark so I don't know if that kept them hunkered down a little bit I'm sure it did but uh, anyway uh, if it was easy everybody would do it right so it's all part of it and uh, we'll uh, take you guys along for the season and uh, hopefully we'll uh, have some uh, decent footage for you guys stay tuned don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can see when we post videos and uh, I think we're all looking forward to a good season. Thanks for watching.